I'd like to uh, call this meeting to order. Uh, Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Alec? Here. Mr. Gebhardt? Here. Ms. Karstarfen? Mr. Hauser? Here. And Mrs. Seguin? Here. Would everybody please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge, I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Welcome to the April 6, 2022 O'Leary Board Meeting. I'd like to introduce our group up here. To my right is Board Member and Vice President Mike Gebhardt. To his right is Board Member Lane Sequin. I'm Greg Ellick. Uh, to my left is Board Member Len Hauser. And to his left is our Superintendent Ann Slosh. And to her left is our Treasurer Joy Clickinger. Okay, right off the bat, we have a very, very exciting presentation here today. Amy, where'd you go? <laughs> You're up. We have some winners, I hear, huh? Winner. All right. Yay. Bring on the winners here. Well, I, I'm not going to spend too much in time in front of you. I want to turn it over to Eastern Heights. But we do, we're very excited to um, have the um, Southwestern Conference champions of middle school eighth grade basketball here. All right. Their coach and their families are here, so I'd like to invite up uh, principals Dana Cerrito and Joy Jones and athletic director Heather Beck. We've got some awards for these guys, and um, they are going to announce the coach, and then we'll go through the players who were able to make it tonight. Super. Great. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Hello. Um, it's been my pleasure to go to uh, these boys' games, and I got to be there at the championship game and cheer them on. They have been an amazing group to watch. They've been playing together, some of them, since third grade. Um, this is pretty much the last they'll all be together because some of them are going in different directions next year. So it's really an honor to present the team to you and their coach, Mr. Paul Scrivan. Sure. Okay. So uh, we've we had an undefeated season, first time in a long time. Wow. Right? So we went undefeated in the regular season, and then we uh, swept the tournament to a championship game. Uh, we have nine uh, kids; uh, eight of them are here today. Uh, just a solid group. They've been playing. Some of them been playing since they were in fourth grade. Um, it's just real fun. They've learned. They have a real bond with each other. Something that you don't really see that much with kids this age because of technologies and whatnot. But they have an actual bond with each other, which okay. is pretty awesome to see. Uh, I'm going to be crying next year when they're next. <laughs> uh, just so they know that. But it's an awesome group of kids, and then you, you guys will get to meet them when they come up. So great, perfect. Um, you want me just? To you can just call you when they're both. All right. So first up is uh, Jacory Bradley. Are you the center? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Guard? All right. Nice job, G. Corey. Good job. Congratulations. Way to bring it home. Uh, next is Josea Smith. Uh, Liam Quinn. Fantastic. Good job. Good job. Thank you. This is Mike. Great job. Yeah. He's going against me. Oh. Oh, I remember him. Antonio Pry playing in the drive. Good one. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations. Connor oh. Lati. Nice job. Congratulations. Good job. Congratulations. Way to bring it home. Tucker Nappins. Hey, Connor, nice job. Good job. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Cameron Bell. Tucker, nice job. Congratulations. Good job. 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 Good job.
And last but not least, Jeremiah Davis. Yes. Congratulations, sir. Way to go. Well done. Congrats. Great. Hey, good job. Rookie year. Good job. Good job. Good job. Congratulations. 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 Great job. All right. That is, that is exciting. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. Thank you. If you if If you didn't win it, we would make you stay here the whole time. But since you won it, you guys are more than welcome to hit it so we don't put you to sleep. But congratulations Bye -bye. on a great season. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. That's great. All right. As they move out, we do have uh, one person that would like to uh, talk today. And uh, Desmond signed up for uh, five minutes. And I'm not really sure, is Desmond, how do you say your last name? I Kellum. can't, Kellum. Yes, sir. Come on down. Um, and uh, the floor is yours, sir. All right, I got something simple. Um, thank you for letting me talk with you. Absolutely. Right here. Um, I am a grandfather of children that go to St. Cootie's Superstars just left here. <laughs> and uh, my issue is safety. Uh, from the beginning, uh, I've talked to the principals about certain things that's happening or not happening, and, and what, is, what are we doing about it. Uh, they seem like their hands are tied, and I see these teachers out there suffering daily, trying to control out of school, out, out of control parents or just individuals as they are. You know, uh, we have uh, they help with the, the guards with the crossing. That's a little out of control. First of all, I did talk to a couple of police officers that try when they can get a police officer there because of the speeding going by because there's no sign that tells you 20 miles an hour is a school here that big, brand new. You know, so uh, that's a major issue. And it's, I mean, they're not, it's not even, they didn't even no consideration. Then we get on the school grounds. You guys built these beautiful schools here that the government gave you money for. You got a roundabout. And this roundabout, Certain times, as I as, at first I didn't notice it. Then when I really looked, I saw a little sign that says 10 miles an hour. It's this big on the bottom of all these big words. Can nobody see that? And when people are in their own mind, and there's nothing there to stop them, they do what they want to do. We are human beings. We have to be told what to do. Regardless, you have a sign there that says mask. Let's put a sign there that says 10 miles an hour. Sign this tall. It doesn't cost much. These are the inexpensive ways we can prevent things from happening. Because I almost, me and my grandchild got hit twice this year. Okay, and I've seen teachers almost get hit by trying to slow these people down, and some of the volunteers or whatnot. So it's it's, it's a it's a thing. And then at certain times, just like uh, at an intersection, it says during four o'clock, two to four, we don't turn right on red. We need signs to say this is a one way at certain times in the morning, at drop off time, and in the evening at pickup time. These are the common sense things. You know, that's 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 simple fixes. Now, we have to make them aware. So we put the, if we put these signs up, it's good. Then when I'm not saying this is gonna to totally uh, fix the problem, but sometimes you gotta make them aware. The police station has this big old thing, it's about this wide, it's about this tall and it lights up with green and yellow lights. And it tells you how fast you're going. Okay, every once in a while, you can borrow that. Pretty sure it'll let you do it, you know? And put it in each school every once in a while, and say, hey, and then somebody can point at it if they don't get it, because I'll stand out there and do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because it makes no sense for them to go as fast as they are. I mean, there's a child getting out, there's cars are pulling out. We're easing out because I'm a disabled vet. So I back in the front because sometimes distance hurts me, you know, on, on weather days. So if I'm in there and I'm pulling out easy, and then you're barreling down, and there's somebody uh, coming out from the curb that don't see you moving that fast, we have an accident in the school grounds. Safety. These are common sense things, man. We can fix these. Please. Thank you. 
please. Thank you for your time. Thank Absolutely. you. Thank you. Okay, uh, thanks for sharing that. And uh, Superintendent, you can follow up on those items. Absolutely. And then give the board an update, please. Sure. Great. Okay. Uh, moving along on the agenda, uh, let me see, where are we at? Board of Education. Um, do we have the minutes for the March 16, 2022 meeting have been posted. Do I have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. We have a motion by Board Member Gephardt. Do I have a second? Second. Second by uh, Board Member Hauser. Any questions or comments? With none, Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Mr. Hauser? Aye. Mrs. Seguin? Aye. And Mr. Alec? Aye. Motion carries. Okay, uh, next on the agenda is the Treasurer action items. Madam Treasurer. Thank you. Uh, this evening all I have are donations, but we certainly want to express our appreciation for the donations that we received. One from Ethel, Ethel, I'm sorry, Ethel Tyler Charitable Trust for $3,000 and Illyria Moose Lodge for a donation of various school supplies and cleaning supplies. Okay, do I have a motion to approve the uh, donations? So moved. Motion by Board Member Seekman. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Board Member Gephardt. Any comments or questions? Um, none? I, no, I just, I didn't know what that was, the moderate intense units. Um, our students with the most significant needs. Okay. Good question. Okay. Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mrs. Seguin? Aye. Mr. Gephardt? Aye. Mr. Hauser? Aye. And Mr. Alec? Aye, motion carries. Any other reports this evening, Madam Treasurer? No. Okay. With none, we will move to the superintendent. Madam Superintendent, you have action items for us this evening? Yes, I do. But first, I, uh, Mr. Callum, just so you know, most of the list you just named is happening over spring break. Thank you. So we've already started to work on some of those items. So. Okay. Just since, since you were here, I thought I'd tell you in person. <laughs> All right, first of all, my action items. Thank you, Mr. President, to approve the Meta Solutions Master Service Agreements and Schedules for fiscal year 23, to approve this, the payment of stipends as listed below. Uh, these are some of our retired um, counselors that come back and help us during testing. Also to approve the hourly rate, not to exceed six hours per week for an after school program, to approve the payment of, uh, for tutoring, uh, one more addition to that, at home tutoring, and that concludes my action items. Okay, do I have a motion to approve the superintendent's action items? Motion to approve. A motion by Board Member Hauser. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Board Member Gebhardt. Any comments or questions? With none, Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Hauser? Aye. Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Mrs. Seguin? Aye. And Mr. Ellick? Aye, motion carries. Okay, Madam Superintendent, you have uh, personnel action items for us Yes, I do, thank you. Uh, this is the time of year we start to see some retirements. So first of all, Sandra Hyatt, who's a Title I teacher, she's been with us for 22 years. Also Jan Tassaro, who is a, a language arts teacher at Northwood Middle for 25 years. So we wish them well and thank them for everything they've done for our students. We also have a couple of resignations. Uh, Katrina Bajinski, who has been out uh, most of this year, is, er, is resigning. And then Chelsea Gunther, who is moving to Columbus. And she said the drive is too long. They have both been here five <laughs> years. <laughs> uh, although she'd love to stay, she said. Also to approve the unpaid leave of absence from the following staff members. To approve the appointment of the following certified staff, Randy Todd, Jr. He has been here, he's over here, he's waving at us. I'll announce all of them at the end. Um, he has been subbing for us this year and we, we weren't gonna let him go. So we, we hired him. Also to approve the payment um, for after school tutoring for the following staff member. To approve the athletic supplemental contracts to the following staff members. To approve the appointment of the following EHS student worker. To approve the retirement of the following classified, Judy Peterson, admin assistant, 
She's been in several departments, but is now in pupil services. 22 years she's been with the district. Thank her. To approve the resignation of the following classified staff. To approve the unpaid leave of absence for the following classified staff. We'd like to approve the appointment of the following classified administrative staff member taking over for Ann Mitchell. We have Kaylee Petrie. And then to approve the appointment of the following classified staff as detailed below. And that concludes my personnel action items. Okay, do I have a motion to approve the superintendent's personnel action items? So moved. I have a motion by board member Gebhardt. Do I have a second? A second. Second by board member Sequin. Any questions or comments? With none, Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Gebhardt? Aye. Mrs. Seguin? Aye. Mr. Hauser? Aye. And Mr. Alec? Aye. Motion carries. You know, one quick question on that. Yeah. Where, where are we at sub, sub wise? What number uh, are we at? We still, uh, we're still in the high 50s, low 60s. Um, okay. But with, with some of the, the maternity leaves and everything, they, you know, they end up going into long terms. Okay. So it makes it a little more difficult. Okay. Um, I'd like to go ahead and announce a few okay. of the new yes, employees. Please. please do. First of all, I would like to recognize Tangina May. She's been a para pro over here at the Early Childhood Preschool. Is going to be our new um, receptionist or uh, building support associate over at the high school. So, oh, well, Tangina. Super. Congratulations. Yeah. We also have Kaylee Petrie. Some may know her as Kaylee Sass, right? Um, I, I said I knew her because uh, her dad and her, the Alicios, I grew up with oh. them. But she's our new administrative assistant that took over Fran Mitchell. Um, we were very lucky. She has a four-year degree in human resource management, so she'll be a great addition All right, to that great. department. Great. So. Great. Then Mr. Science Man Todd, <laughs> yes. I, I still remember, I have to say this, he walked up to me one day at one of our events and said, I so want to be in Elyria. He All said, right. I love it here. So um, we were excited to be able to hire him, and, and I've heard nothing but wonderful things. So, Randy, welcome to the district. Great. Good right. Then we have um, an old employee's better half decided to come over, uh, Amy mm -hmm. Youngless, some of you may remember, mm -hmm. our old Amos director. Mm -hmm. Her husband is our new Eastern Heights um, head custodian at night. So, Chris Youngless. Oh, Chris, welcome. Great, thank you. Right. Okay, did I forget anyone? All right. Whew. Good job. That's it. All right. <laughs> and then superintendent's report? Superintendent's yeah. report, sure. All right. So, first of all, a couple shout outs. Um, the Special Olympics Craft Bazaar and Easter Egg Hunt and all that good stuff was a huge success. Bigger than ever. Um, so many positive comments, both in the media and um, just hearing while we were at the open houses from people. So thank you to, um, I know Sam Bonetta and Andrew Menner put a lot of work in that, but also the People Services Department. Also this weekend, we have the musical Wizard of Oz, uh, Friday and Saturday, I believe it's at 7 and 7.30, Amy? Okay. And then Sunday at 3. So you can, if you're not sure on all of that and how to get tickets, I'm sure it's on the website. Um, also, last weekend, Eastern Heights Middle School Drama Department, it's relatively new. I think this is only their second production. They did The Giver downtown at St. Andrews, I believe, and a phenomenal production. So thank you to Mrs. Hartley and all that were involved with that. And then just the open house. We didn't know what to expect at all. We, we went with April because we know May starts baseball and everything, and we had so many people at every single building. It was phenomenal. A lot of old retired employees, as well as just people from the neighborhood, heard so many great stories, but it was good to see everyone, and uh, fun was had by all. So thank you to all the building leadership and the teachers and staff, um, as well as all of the administrators that helped out with that. Um, a great idea that came out of it that Amy and I are working on in August or <coughs> September, we're going to have a retired employee pancake breakfast oh, nice. because we want to re-enlist them to come volunteer in the district, of course. <laughs> but that was uh, given to us by one of the retirees and just thought it would be nice to get together because 
they were, you could see the emotion getting to see each other again and um and I even saw a couple of my old teachers oh, here okay. and there so we we went back What kind of numbers far. did you end up having Boy I that I was at Westwood we separated all of us went to, uh, the cabinet went to a different building and I know we had well over 200 Oh really oh, well, Yeah it was that way Yeah So which site uh, drew the most I was at all of them I'm not sure, but every site that I went to was a constant. Flow. Okay, like, that's great. They were running out of materials and, you know, yeah. making more copies because people were taking the things that they had out and hmm. um, lots of great feedback. It was yeah. Really nice. and the that's outstanding. Right. Yeah. Right. I know we had a hundred cookies and punch at the opening of each building. So like the campus had 200 and they were gone in like the first hour or two. So it was great. I it was, was the heights great. and uh, I got lost. <laughs> I mean, that's a big lost. school. <laughs> I, I was surprised how <laughs> that gym is phenomenal. Yeah. It's huge. Did you play the loo? Did what? The loo in the small gym? No. All right. You got lost. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> all right. Any other? No, nope, uh, that's today? it. Thank all you. All right. Great. Glad to hear uh, such a, a wonderful turnout at all the schools. That's exciting. Okay. All right. Thank you, Madam Superintendent. Moving along, the Board of Education is uh, the uh, building uh, liaison. Just quickly, uh, and maybe Brian can fill in the gaps here. Uh, we are trying to move forward with the stadium mm -hmm. and run into a little snafu that I don't think we'll have the same contractor, so it's going to take a little longer. But I think Mr. Rigda said something about maybe bids in the summer or something. Is that kind of where we're at with this thing? I think our next step is uh, to issue an RFQ, a request for qualifications from any interested general contractor that can handle the job. They submit that to us. We review that. We develop a short list. And then as I think, then we'll release an RFP, a request for proposals to see their actual um, thoughts and numbers attached to the project. Okay. And uh, when do we envision all that ending and we'll start I doing the work? My goal would be to get an RFQ out before we go to spring break. Oh, wow. That's great. Hopefully we can move that fast. It's, so, yeah, it's looking like summer, summer work. In the fall, yeah. Oh, that'd be wonderful. Okay, that's exciting mm -hmm. to get that uh, finished up there. Okay, uh, let me see. Any other items for the good of the cause, board members? My, uh, my grandson went to the Easter egg hunt. He came back with a bag of eggs full of candy, and he both both of us had a sugar high the rest <laughs> of the day. Oh, that's great. That was really nice. Yeah. Where was that at? That was at the high school. Oh, with this, it was part of the craft bazaar. Yeah. Oh, okay. The craft bazaar was huge. I couldn't believe it. No, oh, that's wonderful. All right. Any other uh, items there? Okay. Uh, moving along on the agenda, we have um, some um, updates on board policies, and uh, I'll ask briefly our liaison for board policies, board member Sequin. Did you have any comments you wanted to share on this before we uh, move forward for the first reading? Yeah, these basically, um, the OSBA is redoing their policy manual. So these are mostly, it appeared that they were like uh, eliminating some redundancy or clarifications that are being pushed down to us. Okay. Um, and so, just so everybody knows, uh, the policy is on our website. So, you know, that goes over the whole district's policies on everything, in case you want to take a peek okay great all right so I will ask for a motion to approve the first reading of all the policies that are listed there do I have a motion so moved I have a motion by board member Hauser do I have a second 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 by board member uh, Gephardt any questions or comments with none madam treasurer would you please call the roll mr. Hauser aye mr. Gebhardt aye mrs. Seguin aye and mr. Alec aye motion carries I believe we do not have an executive session tonight, correct? Correct. correct. So that is all on the, for the agenda. I guess I will just need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion by Board Member Gebhardt. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Board Member Sequin. Madam Treasurer, would you please call the roll? Mr. Gebhardt. Aye. Mrs. Sequin. Aye. Mr. Hauser. Aye. And Mr. Ellick. Aye. Motion carries. Meeting adjourned. Yes,